Capitol Police manning temporary barricades were no match for the angry mob that attacked the Capitol on January 6th. Now, with multiple investigations and reviews underway, the Capitol Police Department's acting chief on Thursday calling for vast improvements in the Capitol's physical security, including permanent fencing around the complex's perimeter. That suggestion quickly met with bipartisan opposition from members of Congress. Republican Elise Stefanik tweeting she's adamantly opposed, and Democrat Jake Auchincloss, a retired Marine, calling it a mistake to turn the home of our democracy into a fortress. Known as the People's House, the Capitol and surrounding congressional office buildings and parks before the attack were accessible to D.C. residents and tourists. Nearly 5 million visitors per year taking the opportunity to visit their representatives and observe Congress in action. While future guidelines for visitors to the Capitol remain unclear, D.C.'s non-voting member of Congress adamantly against a permanent barrier. The last thing we need in our nation's Capitol is fencing around the Capitol. And I strongly oppose it. We'll fight it. But the threat to the Capitol and members of Congress remains. On Wednesday, police arrested a West Virginia man with a handgun, stopped the steel paperwork, and a list of lawmakers just outside the fence line. And a Homeland Security bulletin released this week warned of a heightened threat from domestic extremists, potentially emboldened by the January 6th attack. I hope that we're going through a really dark period in our history, but that we can get beyond it uh, and not have to, uh, you know, do our government work behind uh, the barricades. The continued presence of National Guard here has been somewhat controversial as well, with some lawmakers like Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton calling for them to be sent home with our thanks. But D.C.'s Mayor Muriel Bowser said she'd like to see the Guard stay a little bit longer to deal with some security threats, but not become a permanent presence. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.